Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I found this concept while I was doing research on another project and I thought it was pretty cool so I wanted to share it with you. This is uh, what the finished product is going to look like. It's two levels of color and oftentimes when we try and add color it seems to overwrite it, the previous color. So we're going to start with this basic bar chart. Category, sales could be whatever you wanted. And we've all done this, bring category over to color. And now we want to have this being broken up into different levels. So what we could do is if we bring over, I'm going to do ship mode, oh, segment. I'm going to drop segment into color, and that's not what I want. I wanted all of furniture to be one color, all the bars to be one color, and then different shading. So let's go back, add category, and now we'll drop shipment or segment under detail. Now if you move your pointer you'll see that these different uh, bars are broken up into this second category or this detail, what's on the detail card. And now if you go over to detail card you can just change it to color and you've got the variation. Works great when you've got just a few different colors or different categories or different segments. When you add something a little more, uh, when it has more items, such as the subcategory, so I'll show you what that looks like. Add subcategory to the details, and then add this to color. Well, that doesn't actually look too bad. There's some of them where you have so many, uh, I'll show you real quick. If you add product name to the details, that's where you're going to start to run into problems. And it just looks like a uh, shaded bar because there's so many different products. Okay, that works great for a, a bar chart. Show you what else we can do with it. It's going to be a little bit longer, but we're going to create a pie chart. We're going to have average of one and average of one. And we're going to create change this. We're going to change this one to a pie chart. And we're going to put the category. Where is that? Category on the color. And we're going to put the sales on the, the wedge. And then we're going to come down to this one. And we're also going to put the sales on. Oops, got to change this to pie. Sales on the wedge. I know a lot of you may not like pie charts. But this is my video, so I'm going to do one. And then we will add, let's add shipping method. Where is that? Something with, it's not quite, or we'll add segment. Add segment. And then come down here and change this to color. And now what you can do is we're going to make this a little bit bigger. Because we want a dual ring here. And then we're going to create a dual chart, dual axis, and it's covering, the one with all the uh, breakout is covering the other, so we're just going to move this over here. It's offset, so you have to synchronize the axes. And there you go, you've got your uh, two-toned bar chart. Um, when I first did this, this color came in as red. You can just go in here and uh, change the colors like you would normally. Oh, this is, I picked the wrong one. But this is what's happening is it's just adding the blue, different blue variations and is assigning it. So that's another way that you can use a dual bar chart and of course then you could add, put the sub uh, segment on the label and then you've got all those labeled. Pretty cool little tip. Hope it helps uh, bring a different element to your visualizations. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Leave those comments.